Now to a water main break in Borum Hill, Brooklyn. It's been flooding a street and basements there now for more than six hours. Chopper 2 live over the scene right now and CBS 2's Hazel Ch Sanchez live on the ground with more on this absolute mess. Hazel. Yeah, Maurice, we're on 4th Avenue off Bergen Street, and you can see behind me the Department of Environmental Protection is still in the process of shutting this water off. You can see the water still bubbling through the sidewalk. Earlier, contractors were drilling a hole when they hit a 72-inch water main that sent water pouring into the street. Water was bursting out of the sidewalk like a geyser on 4th Avenue in Borum Hill, Brooklyn. It looks like something kind of exploded. A civil engineering crew from a company called Big Apple Group was drilling to test soil outside the building when their soil boring rig busted a water main, a river of water flooding the street. The owner of 4th Avenue Cleaners heard the break from inside her shop. They started drilling on yeah. something? Why? And then all of a sudden, after about, about one hour, two hours later, Five buildings were evacuated, power shut down, basements flooded. Razak Chowdhury was dumping out water from his basement one bucket at a time. I'm feeling very bad. I feel like dry. My basement, every place have a full water. I have a lot of my material in the damage. Without power, Chowdhury's tenants, the 99 cents and up store, were struggling to keep business going in the dark. They're concerned the work will keep customers away for the rest of the day. I asked the, the, the fire truck. He said, maybe you want, I don't know how long. So I don't know, I just already. People who work and live on the street wonder how the crew could have made such a damaging mistake. We questioned them at the site. I'm not allowed to talk about what happened. But Chowdhury and others paying for the mishap want answers. Thanks God we have insurance, but uh, we are very upset. Now, this water main break is right outside a building that tenants say was just sold. In fact, they say the paperwork was supposed to be signed tomorrow. There is quite a bit of damage here, and the city tells us that the private contractor will have to foot the bill. The good news is, though, the business is here, and the residents who live here just got their power back. That's the latest here live in Borum Hill. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Okay, Hazel, thank you.